Hello everyone and welcome to class. In today's class, we'll be looking at chemical industries. Okay, this is introduction to chemistry and we'll be looking at chemical industries. What are chemical industry or what is a chemical industry? Well, the chemical industry may be described simply as the industry that uses chemistry and also manufacture chemicals. It goes through complex of processes, operation, and organizations engaged in the manufacture of chemicals and their derivatives. So a chemical industry is one that uses chemicals and um, engage them in the manufacture of their derivatives. And um, the truth is, um, any product will, will come ac- might have come across as actually undergone as actually undergone. So far, it's not a raw material that's actually undergone processing in the chemical industry, ranging from the food we eat, and an example is the rice we eat. You know, when it is harvested, it is actually harvested as brown rice. And then it goes through a process and then they refine it and then it becomes white. So most of the foods we eat, the beverages, even the cocoa, it has to go through several processes before it becomes um, the powder, the cocoa powder. And then they make it into beverages, tea, um, milo and so on and so forth. And then the clothes we wear, one of the raw product of our clothes is cotton gotten from the farm it would have undergone a lot of processes to become clothes even the sachet water it it undergoes purification processes you have to use some chemicals to kill germs and even the house we live in because some of the things used in construction of the houses are gotten from chemical processes from the roof to the doors and so on and so forth so we have a lot but the truth is any product that it is not raw and we've come across as actually undergone processing in the chemical industry so you know that um, the chemical industry is a vital industry in any economy of a nation so um, main raw materials the main raw materials used are the fossil fuels some coal natural gas and petroleum and this is where the miners the people that mine this is where they come in play because they these things are under the ground or under the or inside the rock so they have to mine it even our air our air is actually a mixture of gases we have carbon dioxide we have nitrogen and some other trace elements in the air we have water we have salt water we have salt too these are natural uh, uh, raw materials we have limestone we have sulfur and some specialized raw materials for special products the chemical industry converts these raw materials into primary secondary or tertiary end products so there are stages to this product a chief characteristic of the chemical industry is that its products nearly always require further processing before reaching the ultimate consumer you know that that one of the that the chief characteristic of the chemical industry is that the product gotten will always require further processing before reaching the ultimate consumer an, an example is um the regular sugar we take the white granulated sugar gotten from the sugar cane or you can call it beet cane beet be eating it undergoes um, a lot of processes from the juicy process from crushing it and then we get molasses and then from the molasses we get brown sugar it undergoes some purification process we have we then we have our granulated white sugar and then you can see for that get the maple syrup another example is also the production of margarine that involves the hydrogenation of natural fatty acid this natural fatty acid might be cutting from plants or animals and then we convert them into margarine and other Byproducts. An illustration of the this is an illustration of the production of sugar as I earlier stated. It says that sugar cane undergoes crushing to produce raw juice and then further undergoes chemical processes such as eating, evaporation, and crystallization to produce molasses and raw sugar. Raw sugar further undergoes chemical processes before we arrive at the end product, which is the white sugar. There's something that we should also note since we stated earlier that chemical industries make use 
of raw materials things don't just appear product don't just appear it has to start from the raw material to product and then the product can be in stage it could be primary product secondary product and tertiary product you know some of the raw materials used in chemistry industry in, in industries includes minerals and these minerals contain some certain um, elements or some metals in their um, combined state or pure state we also have the natural gas we have the sea water we have the air and we have natural elements the products gotten from some of these raw materials are acids alcohols benzene caustic soda esters eaters lylons solvent to that um things you use to dissolve fibers we have synthetic rubber silane polyvinyl chloride and pigment or dyes and so on several products can be gotten from the raw materials and some of the end products include adhesives automobiles food additives near yeah, household materials computers carpet construction materials fertilizers cosmetic textile toys soaps and detergent paper um paint and coating and one of them from um the products from product we have um caustic soda an end product of caustic soda usually um, re, um gives us some um, soaps and detergents okay so we should put in bmn that production always start from raw materials all right so and i've told you that um, a chemical industry is very important in the economy it's very important in the economy of any nation and one of the things it does that it provides job opportunities many job opportunities are available for students with a knowledge with a knowledge of chemistry some of the industries that offer such opportunities are listed below we just listed few we have a lot we have the earth industry we have the petrochemical industries we have the extractive industry we have the food processing industry textile industry agricultural industry and so on and so on here yeah. so you can you can also um find other industries that do this like the industry that produces um timber yeah that produces timber for wood and then in turn we get um we get our uh, furnitures okay so we have so many industries that produces that um creates such opportunities for people to work in summary Chemical industries can be referred to as industries that utilizes chemistry or the knowledge of chemistry and manufactures chemical products. Some of the products gotten from raw material further undergoes processing before getting to its final consumer. So I said that we should always we should take note that production always starts from raw materials to products and products are in, in stages. We have the primary, we have the secondary and tertiary which gives us the end product all right so i've given you a few assignments and i would love to get your feedback what do you understand by chemical industry list 10 products in your own chemical um, gotten from chemical industries now listing their products their raw listing their raw materials and then is prepare a product or an end product so i'll leave this to you to do the findings thank you for today's class and i hope you learned something new